Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back in some more Minecraft. And uh, again, I have done quite a bit off camera, and uh, I will show you that now, and then we will get to building something ourselves. But yeah, I basically have redesigned this whole area. In the last episode, we kind of got the basic sort of idea down for what we wanted to do, but uh, it wasn't really coming together I was looking at it like oh, it's not really that great so I basically took some time and redesigned the whole area uh, I actually redesigned it sort of um, on, a, on a sheet of paper what I wanted and uh, this is the result so let's quickly take a look at it but before we do I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already please subscribe down below all right let's uh, get into it and see what I've done so, as you can see here, we have a little industrial area, little industrial park, and I've really tried to model this off um, actual English industrial sort of, you know, parks or industrial um, units or, you know, whatnot, and uh, I, I feel that I have captured the look of an English sort of industrial park very well. So, let's uh, take a closer look at what I've done. Okay, so as you can see here, I have pushed the custom online picture frame to its absolute and limit. And I mean, this isn't even the limit. You can go way, 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 way bigger than this. But I thought I'd just throw this in as it is. And this is a 200 block by 30 block frame. And the reason that I've done this is uh, in a real model railway, you'd have a backdrop and then you'd build off that backdrop. Essentially, we're doing the same thing. We have a backdrop. So, like, from this angle, for instance, it it just looks like the land carries on. It looks like, you know, the units are there. Behind the units, there is a town and rolling hills and, and whatnot. It tries to give the illusion there's more than there actually is. And I've stretched it quite a bit, so it is quite pixelated. But uh, I, I am looking to sort of slice quite a few of them together. So we could have a big, long line of them. But uh, let's go take a look what I've done over here. Industrial park. And we've got our classic tool station here. With the roller shutter. I, I really, really like this roller shutter. I think that looks cool. And uh, I've really captured the look of what these units look like. Uh, you can get units here with like the brick. But I've just gone for like a corrugated steel. And they've always got these white PVC windows as well. But yeah, that's our sort of tool station. I love this... Uh, container as well the graffiti this is like typical industrial st um, industrial unit like a state sort of uh, in the UK we've got another one of these cars here but yeah here's our tool station here and I love that I could get these in to say you know this is the sort of thing they'd have to stop people from parking in front of the shutter it sort of just says like keep this area clear and at this car I I've recently added this mod I can't remember what it is but my oh my it's looking looking tasty these uh these vehicles some of them are you know like this truck a little bit lower rendered than say this this is very very highly detailed but uh i like the mixture and uh we've got the classic to let by landlord sign on the side of the unit you know maybe this one is a separate unit to this one and uh, it's being being let or maybe they've just left it on there and this is your typical, I've just found a priority plumbing. Um, I don't know where that, I don't know what company that is or where it's based, but I, I basically just typed in company, uh, plumbing company logo on Google and got that. And uh, you'd always see a plumbing place in, in a place like this. And it's, yeah, it's just typical English. Yeah, so now it's raining to add to the atmosphere. But as you can see, I've sort of made it, with this barbed wire and this classic looking concrete wall you know it just looks typical English um, <laughs> this does no parking and I've just carried it on here put some drains in and stuff carried it on there is a, a white transit van here with the wipers on I don't know how to turn those off uh, I don't know Okay, I have a picture of sort of like an old um, house. 
that would probably have been back in the day maybe like the, the station master's house or someone important to do with the railway and I think that's what we're going to do here we're going to put in this old house and then we're going to have maybe like I don't know maybe like a street here um, and just maybe it just goes off into into the bushes or something but uh, we've got a few brick options so we're going to check them out and uh, decide what we want yeah I think that was all of them yeah so hmm I don't like the large bricked ones but at the same time we can get rid of that that and that because it's quite an old building so it's going to be quite sort of rustic and run down I'm liking this I'm going to go with this I think so if we get rid of all them I might change my mind at some point <laughs> but uh yeah right so it's almost like two houses put together uh, this and it sort of is quite a long house so we will it's three houses put together but it, it would have been like a station master's house I imagine so let's go with that for now And it's just going to be sort of here next to the railway. They're not going to have a garden. Let's get rid of that. And decide what we want to do with the doors here. Now they have got red doors. So if we find a... Now we're going to have to just type in door, I think. Left red. Yeah, one of them will do. I don't think they've got any more. They've got right. We're just going to go left. Don't think we've got any more sort of doors. Doormat. No, I think that's going to be our only option, really. Is uh, that. Because there's no others, really. Which is fine. That's what this door actually looks like in the picture. And uh, it's actually really far over to the really far over and then it's two and then a window and the window is sort of a thin thin one um, let's see if we've got any more that four could be good they don't really stick out oh these are quite good um, yeah, I think that's going to be sort of the best we're going to get. It's not really a window like that. Um, it's more of a... We'll take that four. Got that two. And it doesn't really stick out like that. So let's try these out. See, the thing is they're really large. Um, maybe if I did like... Uh, I have to... There we go. That's not too far off. These look a bit too modern of a window for this style of house. And I think these are going to be way too big. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go with that. I'm actually going to move it over by one, though. So let's get rid of those. You've got to remember, this is quite an old house. Um compared to like a newer one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be quite an old house compared to like a new house. I don't like the fact that the door's so small, if you will. Like, I mean, our head is literally here and there's another window above. It's sort of in line with the door, which is annoying. It does have a window here, though. In the picture. Okay, it's not too bad. 
and then there's another so if a four was there it'd be there we're just sort of getting the basics for the house down yeah so I'll just build the front of it quickly to show you what it's going to look like and so we get an idea and then it's got a roof so it's sort of like a tall but thin building um, and then there's another one so there would be like a wall probably here and then there's another sort of house I think maybe we go over by one more Could probably bring the windows over and then let's say there's a wall there there's a yeah let's bring these windows over by one I think that might look a bit better yeah it looks a little bit better and then there's sort of a wall divide here and another set of windows uh, and then what was it? it was two and then a door Then there's actually one block, then another door here, like that. And that's how these old houses are sort of built, is like this. So we're just copying that first one, so it's two and a window. two windows in the end the house has actually got a bit on the side here which is really cool which they have window like that so that's sort of what we're going for um, and then it'll have a roof and chimney and stuff and a front bit but uh, yeah that's looking like a real old building compared to the sort of 90s era that I'm going for um, so I'll do a bit more of this and uh, I'll show you a bit more when I'm done okay so I sort of changed my mind a little bit on this I started building this and it was it's look it looks really really good apart from you'll never see that side <laughs> uh, I basically forgot that that is the back scene there's no point building anything on this side because you'll never see it for when you're down here so I've sort of switched up gears a little bit and I'm gonna recreate this on this side flat and then I might do like another one protruding out or something on like another one here or or something like as if there's a street run down the middle and there's another house or something on this side but uh yeah I've sort of switched gears on it a little bit and I'm basically gonna do this so uh, let's continue building this as we don't do a lot of building lately we haven't for a while I always tend to just build it off camera uh, mainly because I forget to just press record so that's our bulk two houses and then to be fair we might just leave it at that for now uh, I do need to get rid of this though uh, but let's sort of work out what we're doing here 
don't really know what I'm going to do in this area, to be honest. I might actually it's just come to just come to me. I might do like a block of garages here to about there. Obviously, it won't be that won't be that wide. Probably be like that. Let's just sort of uh, get them in, sort of like that. See, so yeah, I might do like some garages there, as a uh, sort of what you see. You see block garages. I might just put another one of these houses in. How wide do they? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, just about. Let's get a different coloured door. Um. Let's go for like a light grey. You know, maybe this person's not big on their on their sort of doors, and they've just got the typical white windows in here. And then we've got two spaces, um, which I might just put like, I don't know, a fence in or something. Like, I don't know, put something like that, and then maybe get like a big bush or something and just go bang, bang. You know, just so it just looks a bit, bit better than what it does. But yeah, I think that's going to be good, and then we'll put like a, a street in here. I don't know how wide. Uh, we want them to be. So we want them to sort of have a, a bit of a garden. So, so we want this to. We want the garages at least. So we've got one, two, three, four. Road. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be like a sort of one way road let's just put that in sort of uh, temporarily oh, it would have lined up perfectly uh, with this one but I think what I'm going to do is I might see if these are garages In order to extend this round like this, it's a bit weird there. Some of, some of them have different. There we go. We'll just redo this. So they've all sort of got the right orientation. I might extend that to there, and then I might have the road sort of come down this way I might have the fence sort of cut across here not this one the more sort of industrial fence sort of cut across here like this and then that's track side So that's sort of like track side here. Um, I might even cut this in more as well. I don't want too big of a sort of slot. Which is not going to be pretty. But uh, I might just cut that in here. And then I can... If I just do it down here, just to give us sort of like a baseline of where we're going with this. We've got to do that, yeah. Like 
like that. And then this one is straight down. There we go. The fact that it's flat is a bit weird. I might actually put like a little bit of a bank in here. Or maybe have like a, I don't know, if I want them on sort of like a little hill. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this needs to be demolished. So uh, we'll get the old TNT out. It's probably an easier way to do it, but TNT just seems to be the best option. Watch it fly everywhere. And see, that's probably a bit too much. Let's get rid of that. So this is what we have so far. We've got some sort of typical looking garages here. I might have one of them open or something and have a, like a nice car inside them. And then we've got some typical sort of old buildings here. These would have been sort of uh, maybe like buildings for railway workers or very typically at the time factory or miners, factory uh, workers. Here, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I kind of want to put like a park over here or something, but uh, that's that's to be debated. I don't know what I'm gonna do here just yet. I might actually do some more garages um, along here. Just continue this sort of pattern of building a little bit longer. Do some more garages and then make it so that you have to, if you want to come and access your garage. You have to come down and down a little bit of bit of road or something. It's quite difficult, obviously. Uh, here is quite easy because it's it's all fenced off on this side. But here is quite difficult because I want to put houses on both sides, but you're only going to see the back of the house. So it is quite difficult. But uh, yeah, that is basically what we're going to be doing. I think I'm going to have to work some more of this out. This side of the layout is definitely seeing a lot of love. We uh, we haven't even started the stations yet or anything. That is going to be a big job. So uh, I don't know when we're going to get to any of this, but uh, we will eventually. So if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.